What is up everyone, Barricade here, and I bring you guys an interesting piece of Gears of War news. It was actually stated yesterday that Cliff Bozinski himself, one of the old original creators of Gears of War that worked alongside Rod Ferguson himself, is actually having a good and positive optimistic look on Gears of War 4. Basically what I'm saying is that he's seen what Gears of War 4 is going to be like, spoke to some of the creators at the Coalition, and pretty much stated that he likes what he hears. And while, you know, obviously he's no longer working on Gears of War, it is actually really good that he is saying that. Because the reason why I say that, why it's actually, you know, very good, is because of the fact that when Gears of War Judgment was coming out, he kind of gave an insight on it, but he didn't really have too much of an opinion on Gears of War Judgment, and then shortly before it's released, he bailed. He left Epic. So that alone kind of shows that he wasn't really too fond of how Gears of War Judgment was turning out, whereas when it comes to Gears 4, he basically stated... On, a, on an actual tweet on Twitter, he said, Just got off the phone with a friend who's doing some writing on the next Gears game. Sounds like we will all be very pleased with it. And he even goes on to say that he's rooting for Rod Ferguson and uh, the Coalition to basically pull off an amazing game. So that alone to me shows that Gears 4 is turning out to be something amazing because he, you know, he is actually pleased with what it sounds like. And he even goes as far as to say that he would love to basically be able to put a little piece of his input in the game if they would let him which is also really good because he's actually excited for the game he actually wants to put a piece of his input into the game if he could unlike with judgment where he was just kind of like oh yeah this is how the game is and uh oh yeah by the way i'm quitting epic <laughs> that's kind of like how his his opinion and how his attitude with judgment was whereas this one he doesn't even work on he's not even working on gears 4 at all he you know he has no influence to the game whatsoever but yet he's saying that he loves how it looks he loves how the story's coming out he loves how the game's coming out and he actually would love to put his own input on the game if they would let him but he still gives you know respect towards rod ferguson and even says you know i would like to put my input on it but you know i'm available and everything although i think rod kind of wants to just own it as the new visionary basically saying you know i would love to work on it but i'm going to leave it up to rod because you know that's his thing now that's his baby that's his game now and while he would love to put his input on it and help rod to an extent he still was just leaving it up to him in the end and just knows that Rod can do it. Rod can handle this and make an amazing game with the Coalition. So that alone right there just gives me a good insight on how Gears of War is turning out. Because like I said before, with Judgment, he just pretty much kind of ignored how Gears of War Judgment was. Didn't really give an insight on it and just basically bailed from Epic shortly before its release. Whereas in this game, he's actually excited for it. So that alone just makes me believe that... Gears of War 4 is just going to overall be an amazing game with its story, with its multiplayer, with everything on every single aspect of the game. The Coalition is going to freaking do it and they're going to make an amazing game and finally bring back Gears the way it should be because Gears of War 1, 2, and 3 were amazing titles but Gears of War Judgment basically put a really bad uh, taste in the Gears of War fans' mouths. They, you know, they didn't like how it was. It turned a lot of people off. A lot of new newbie players that didn't know what Gears was jumped on the game and basically ruined it for everyone else and just pretty much made Gears almost die. And that's the thing that people don't understand with Judgment. They say, oh, why? Well, Judgment's not bad. It's not a bad game. It almost ended the series for us. I don't know if you guys knew that. It almost killed Gears for us. There was a point where Epic was basically stating that after Gears of War Judgment, they were going to shelve Gears of War as a series for like 10 years before they decided to ever make another game. Because they were just like, okay, well, Gears is done, and, you know, whatever. Like, they didn't even care. Like, they just wanted to basically shelve Gears, not make any games, and just completely just pretend like Gears wasn't a thing anymore. But then, for whatever reason, I forgot how it worked, but basically it was sell to Black Tusk Studios, which eventually became the Coalition, and now they're the ones working on the game because they actually like Gears, they want to bring Gears back, and they want to make it what it was. And that was another thing I wanted to state too real quick here, is when it comes to Judgment, I hear so many people, even nowadays, saying that, oh, it's People Can Fly's fault, People Can Fly is what ruined Gears of War, they should have left it to Epic. No, that's the thing you don't understand. People Can Fly worked on the campaign. They made the story mode. Epic still worked on the actual multiplayer. 
They made the multiplayer still. Rod Ferguson and Cliff Bozinski left Epic before Gears of War Judgment's release, and basically they left the multiplayer's design to some new guy who didn't know what the hell he was doing, he didn't know what Gears was, and he made it terrible. And then that's why Gears went as bad and as low as I, you know, pretty much what I said earlier. And then pretty much Black Tusk didn't want that, they wanted to bring back Gears, took the rights to it, basically made Gears, uh, Gears of War Ultimate Edition, and basically said, no, Gears isn't dead, we're making Gears 4, and we're going to bring this series back. We're not going to shelve it for 10 years like freaking Epic wanted to. So that's why I'm really excited about, you know, Black Tusk Studios, or um, the Coalition, I mean, taking this game, because they're going to make it. They're going to really make an amazing game, and I'm really excited for the end of the year for it to come out. But anyways, guys, if you guys like this video, please definitely hit that like button, subscribe, and tell me what you guys think about Cliff Bozinski's words about Gears of War 4. Basically, he thinks it's amazing, and he would even be willing to put his own input on it. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and take it easy. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see my most recent Gears of War video, hit that link on the left. If you want to see my most recent Dragon Ball video, hit that link on the right. Thanks for watching, guys.